This is Biff Bang Pow, comic book news. Let's see what's going on today in comic books. Someone dies in this week's new issue of Green Hornet, but the good news is that it doesn't matter. The Jonah Hex movie poster was released today, which stars Josh Brolin, John Malkovich, Megan Fox, Will Arnett, and anything else that stuck to the wall when they threw a bunch of crap at it. Someone dies in this week's new issue of X-Force, but the good news is that it doesn't matter. The first annual Los Angeles Rock and Comic Con will be from May 28th to 30th. The guest lineup includes Stan Lee, William Stout, and a flock of seagulls, the band. If this acid trip of mine keeps going, it will also star a pterodactyl, Abraham Lincoln, and a talking refrigerator. Flock of seagulls will be performing in a battle of bands at Rock and Comic Con against one in Rome to see who's more irrelevant. Nice. I can't wait to not care about that. Hasbro announced another new G.I. Joe cartoon. No word if Marlon Wayans will stop by and help ruin it. I vote yes. Oh, definitely he will. All right, now let's check in with Jamie for this week's new releases and male nudity. Thanks, guys who I've never met before. All right, Jamie, what do we have this week? Danny, let's start with Stomptown. I've heard nothing but good things about Stomptown. I finally got around to grabbing a copy of number one. I was just about to read it when this thing went to air. All I can tell you is I have enough comments that it's worth a pickup. Green Hornet, this is Kevin Smith's third copy, third issue of Green Hornet. Sort of a shocker because it's going in a direction I didn't anticipate it going with the death of a key character. So it is shocking the death? Yes. Is it, is it worth caring about? If anything from Dynamite Entertainment is worth caring about, it's Boys first and then probably Green Hornet second. I could agree with that. All right. Next up is the uh, Justice League Rise of Arsenal. Of course, Arsenal is the old Speedy. That's the Green, Horn, uh, the Green Arrow's uh, sidekick. Uh, he's gone through a dramatic stage of suffering and pathos, and it just isn't getting any better for him. The art is sensational. People like this book? Because I thought it wasn't very good. I like it. It's selling really well. We keep selling out of the uh, Rise and Fall story art. Oh. So the diehard JLA guys are eating this up. Ultimate Avengers, no, uh, part two, number one, or act two, scene two, take one. Because <laughs> I'm really, I'm getting confused, and I think my readers are getting confused with the rebooting Ultimates, Ultimate Avengers, because I noticed neither one are selling as well as they used to with the same talent pool in place. Uh, if there's anything going for this issue, it's the Punisher. I like this issue. It had a lot of shooting. I don't know what the story is, and I probably won't like it after that. I think it's a uh, it's a bullet count. <laughs> They've yeah. got to round it up to 100, then they can go to issue three, scene two, act four. <laughs> Invincible Iron Man. This is the best read of the month. Thoroughly engrossing. Worth four dollars. Great time. Finally, Conan never gets old, never gets tiring. I like this issue. All right, cool. Now let's see what Matt's up to. I think he's feeling a bit down on his luck. The fact that I was almost late today and didn't comb my hair proves the point that April is not a good for a month for me. It's pretty unlucky, no matter how hard I try. Also, there are people like that in comic books. Let's take a look at some hard luck heroes. Booster Gold was from the past to came back to get some money and some fame. Unfortunately, no one cared about it when he got here. Uh, his best friend died, and then he had to leave the time stream in order to protect the time stream, so he doesn't get any fame for that. That sucks. Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern, had a bad beginning. His girlfriend was shoved into a refrigerator. Um, his mom died of a space disease. His other girlfriend died in space, and then he died for a while. Fuck up, pal. The Doom Patrol features a bunch of weirdos who got strange powers through horrific accidents, like car accidents and plane explosions. No matter how many times they die or give up, they're always brought back and returned for more crappy existences. This is uh, Rick Grimes. He's had a bad life. His wife cheated on him. His best friend was killed by his son. His wife and newborn son were killed. His hand was cut off. And then his youngest son is like a psychopathic murderer. Also, he lives in a world where zombies are present, so he's had better days. Green Arrow used to be a multimillionaire who lost his fortune. His psychic became a junkie. He left his newborn son. He's had bad luck with women and his wife, and then his city and granddaughter blew up. Oh boy. But we can't talk about bad luck heroes without the king of them all, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, of course you know, gained powers. His uncle died. He's had bad luck with women all day, every day, forever. Uh, when he got one, a magical demon took it all away, and now he was a clone sometimes. So these are the guys having it as bad as I am. Not as bad though. Nothing like that compares to my life. I couldn't even comb my hair today. God. 
So are you okay? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. But for some good news, pick of the week. Powers. Powers? What's it's it about? It's about cops who investigate superheroes. So it's like, Law and Order meets Watchmen. I would watch that. Or read it, because it's a book. Yeah. Is it any good right now? Yeah, it's really good. It's by Brian Michael Bendis, who writes every book that is good. And He's some that are not so good, but mostly good ones. This one looks good. You should check it out. Yeah. I'll check it out. I'm checking it out right now. Cool. We'll let him do that. Uh, I'm Matt. He's Danny. We'll see y'all next week. Could you leave quickly? Don't. I'm no me. longer Danny. Who are you? What? Who are you? I, I didn't have anything. Are you a that. scroll or a robot? I'm a scroll. Oh, brother. Here comes eight more months of crossovers no one cares about. Robot. <laughs> Robot.com? Check our new website, scrollbot.com. <laughs>